I'm him on sunset. It's my birthday. What the what? I thought what better way to celebrate my birthday than combine my two favorite desserts, cupcakes and s'mores, and smush them together and test it for you. If you're new here, we are testing a recipe to find out if it's worth your time or not, and if I have any tips or tricks along the way. Today we are following a tutorial on s'mores cupcakes by Kawaii Sweet World. This is what hers looks like. I am terrified because I have to make the frosting from scratch and I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it look like that. But let's see how I do. Ooh. We add the butter and the sugar, the butter and the sugar, the butter and the sugar. Eggs in the cake. Now I have never put coffee into my cake, but she said it makes the chocolate more intense. So let's give it a go. Whiskey it up, baby, baby, whiskey it up. Meanwhile, let's get our frosting going. We need a double boiler. All right, so I don't have a double boiler, so I'm gonna make one out of two pots. It's always fun to try to watch me do egg whites. I am not a professional. <laughs> oh, egg white champion! Next, we put it in the sand mixer for some stiff peaks. I might have just turned a year older, but that phrase is still funny to me. Let's try some other frosting options. I'm gonna combine this frost frosting with some fluff on it. Cause I did see some other recipes where they use fluff in the cupcake or on top of the cupcake. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try mixing these together. Oh, it's popping. I'm gonna take a couple and just put some any marshmallows on top. So I saw one place that combined frosting with the fluff and I don't have any white frosting, but I do have some pink frosting. So I'm gonna try that just to test it for you guys to see if it works. Uh, I'm gonna try broiling them and then I will show you how they turned out. Before I show you what's underneath the box, I am going to give you my tips. Tip number one. She suggested adding coffee to really bring out the chocolate flavor. I don't think that mine did that and it tastes a little bit like coffee and I think it made it a little bit soggy. So skip the coffee. Tip number two. If you are an amateur baker, I would skip trying to make this from scratch. I would use a box cake mix and I would use maybe box frosting. I'll find out in a minute when I taste them, which option is best. Tip number three. I think you could get a little more fun with the decorating. That would be a better place to focus your energy instead of making everything from scratch. And finally, what you've been waiting for, it's time for the big reveal. I know you want to know what's under this box. I am going to show you in three, two, one. <gasps> now looks wise, obviously the marshmallow looks the best. Let's find out how they taste. Oh man, this is just, <laughs> this is a hot train wreck. That tastes okay. It's not my favorite cupcake I've ever had. That's better. I think that would be good if it wasn't strawberry. <laughs> that is the best. This is what Sweet Kawaii Worlds looked like. This is what mine looked like. They don't look anything alike. I definitely failed with the frosting, but they still taste good. So you wanna know is this recipe worth it? And it's not worth it. I think you could buy a box cake mix, some box chocolate frosting, put a thin layer of chocolate, put some marshmallows on top, broil those babies up, and it would be so much more effective. But don't feel bad for me because they're cupcakes and I'm still gonna eat them because it's my birthday and they're cupcakes. I made this video for you, the like button clicking angel that loves delicious treats 
And if you want to see more tutorial reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Pam Fam. Because who wouldn't want treats? I mean, come on. Follow me on Instagram, Pam on Sunset there too. Happy birthday to me. Bye.